The following training video will familiarize you with the steps and formatting required to list an event using the Quick Events feature. First, make sure you are logged in as a member by clicking Member Login in the top right corner of your screen. Once you are logged in, you'll want to click on Ride and Event Calendar. Then you will click on Add Quick Event. First, you will fill in the title as follows. Name of ride, in this example, Bussy Woods. Distance and speed, 30 miles at 10 to 13 miles per hour. And the name of the ride leader, in this example, Ken Hickey. This will allow members browsing the event calendar to make a quick decision on which event they would like to view more information on. Next, you will fill in a short description of the ride or event. Let's say, we will ride to bussy woods on roads and paved paths. Break will be at subway and we will return via an alternate route. The category is where you will select the type of event. Here we would select bike ride 10 to 13 miles an hour. By default the ride leader will always say your name. You will want to leave your ride as visible to everyone and you can ignore mobile channel as this is currently not applicable. The contact person should show your name. If for some reason it does not, you will want to click the select button and do a quick search to find your name. Select your name and click the select button. Next, for show email, you will want to click members only and for show phone, you will also click members only. You can ignore notify and registration as this feature is not applicable at this time. Next, you are going to want to choose a date and time for your event. You can use the calendar icon and use the drop downs to select the correct date and the clock icon for time. We'll start our event at 8.30 and end at 12.30 p.m. You can ignore the registration section as this is also not applicable at this time. Finally, you will want to choose your location. First, click the location icon on the right. These are common locations to choose from. If you do not see your location on the list, you can manually enter your address. We will pick Kathy's house as our location name. Address is 123 Sesame Street in Lombard, Illinois. 60148. You'll ignore metro area as this is also not applicable at this time. You'll always want to click show map link so people can see the location on the Google map. Location phone and website are optional. Most people do not use those. When you're finished, simply click save. You will get a message to confirm that your quick event was saved and you will then be brought to the main event page. You're all done.